Hi everybody, it's Talia here and I'm back with a top 5 list and this time it's going to be about the spring anime that just has finished airing and I will be talking about my final impressions more in detail with Miana soon so this time I will just be saying which ones I thought were best, so my top 5 and yeah, yeah, let's just jump right into it. On number 5 I have Bungo Stray Dogs. This is about Atsushi, a guy that gets kicked out of the orphanage and he meets Dazai, an investigator. They find out that he has superpowers and they end up working together. So basically it's a lot of uh, detective stuff and investigations and all of that and a lot of superheroes and supernatural elements in this series and the series has a season 2 announced which I think is great because not everything is sold, obviously. This is what happens all the time with Supernatural shows anyways, in my opinion. So, um, but this one I did enjoy. I thought it was really funny. I like the comedy aspects that they have in it. So I think that is, that kept me, the thing that kept me watching was probably that because I really like Dazai, how he is, and the other characters from like the team that they are in. Also, the main character is very interesting and I want to get to know him more and yeah. I really enjoyed this one. I thought from seeing the first three episodes that I might not like it as much until the end, but it went kind of down for a little bit and then it went back up for me. So I am surprised about how much I like this one. So yeah, that one is on number five. On number four, I have Boku no Hero Academia. People can grow having a quirk, aka a superpower. There's been a lot of new heroes because of that and our main character Midoriya wants to be a superhero as well. But that doesn't really happen because he doesn't have a quirk until he meets all Might. So this one is known by a lot of people and it is also known already that it will have a season 2 which is also great because this series is so good. I really enjoyed it. It is your typical shonen with superheroes but I don't know, it has something special to it. The characters are very lovely, especially Midoriya and the connection with him and All Might are really great. So that's something that I really, really enjoyed. Also, they did the adaptation from the manga very well, in my opinion. So I'm super glad about that and I cannot wait for season two. Number three is Nijiro Days. So this one actually aired in winter, but it has finished airing now in spring. It is about four friends that are different from each other, but they are all interested in falling in love. So while falling in love in the series, the friends love to get into the way of all of the other characters. And they especially like to get in the way of our main character, Natsuki, which is, uh, I don't know, it is sweet and also funny. I don't know, the series, I don't know, it did something to me. Oh, this is a short series, by the way, for people who don't know. It's only like 15 minutes, something like that, which is a shame. I would have loved that this was 24 minutes, but it's not. But it did have 24 episodes. Also, I did not finish this one yet, but I really, really like this one. So I think I've, I've seen more than half of it already. So it's safe to say that this is one of my favorites because... Oh, I, I could never wait to see it. Now I just have to catch up with Evie and I know we will be happy with however it comes out. So yeah, this is just a very sweet story about four friends that get along well um, and like to tease each other. And then there's girls coming into the series that they fall in love with. And the characters are just very fascinating to me. You have your typical characters like the Tsundere and all of that that are in there, of course. But then you have other characters where you can kind of connect with or that are like very weird that are into SM and all that stuff. Yep, that happens in there. And that's like the kind of characters that make me laugh all the time as well. So I don't know. I really like this one for what it was. And I just hope it doesn't really end on a weird note, but I don't think it will. And then again, we have the manga, so I can check that out as well. But I think this one was very underrated and I wish more people checked it out. So if you have not seen Nijiro Days and you like romance and comedy, and it's only 15 minutes per episode, so please check this one out. On number two, I have Tanaka-kun wa itsumo kedaruge. <laughs> so Tanaka is as lazy as you can get and they say he would change in the synopsis, but he doesn't. He just stays lazy all the time and he has his best friend that kind of takes care of him and that is everything what the series is about. He also meets new friends, but apart from that, it's just him being very lazy. And having a synopsis that is that simple 
is what made this series great for me. I think it was very cute, especially cute, and it was very funny as well. I like Tanaka, I like the main character a lot, I like his best friend a lot as well, and the other characters that came along, the new characters that we got to meet, they were very interesting and fun as well because they are very different from each other and it's cool to see how they react when they meet Tanaka-kun or when they fall in love with Tanaka-kun and I don't know, it's just interesting. I thought this was just a very cute show overall and I could keep watching it. I thought it would get boring because it's kind of like the same over and over again. Just Tanaka-kun being lazy and then stuff happening in school or outside of school. But no, it didn't It didn't get boring for me. I actually really enjoyed it, probably because I like Tanaka-kun, the character, so much. So he's on number two because, I don't know, it's just, it's too cute for words. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. And on number one, who could have guessed it is Sakamoto Desuka. Sakamoto is a guy who is the coolest. No one can top him, but people try which is where the comedy comes from. It is a very nice comedy series about a guy that also has a simple synopsis, which I like. I don't know if I really have to explain why I like Sakamoto that much. I think everyone knows by now. I made it clear on Twitter and here on YouTube as well because he is best boy of the season. And I don't know, Sakamoto for me was just such a lovely character and such a funny character that I couldn't stop watching and this is the only series from this season that I kept on following week by week because I just wanted to see what would happen and then it was over and I was really sad because it was actually a decent ending for the series as well because it was like goodbye to Sakamoto and all of that so it was kind of sad but then again it's good that they have a good ending to the series but we won't have a season 2, so that kind of sucks. But I did see that we will have a special episode, which they call episode 13, so I think that will be funny as well. Maybe we will have some shorts or something like that, because I have no idea if the manga is still going on or not, but I do want more Sakamoto, so I might buy the manga if it does get published here somewhere, that would be great. So yeah, really great series. If you haven't seen Sakamoto Desuka, please check it out. It is so funny. It is one of the most funny series that I've seen in a while. I think the last one that aired that I really, really liked was probably uh, Barakamon or Kokiri-san. So I mean, that, that says a lot for me. So yeah, that is it for my list of all of the series that I like the most from this season. Of course, there's some other series that I really liked like Kuma Miko and Flying Witch. And there's a bunch of other ones that I really liked, like, uh, oh, uh, uh, Joker Game was a really good one as well. But they didn't really give me those uh, happy or exciting feels like I had with these five. So uh, just shout outs to the other ones, they are great as well. Um, there's also some series that I didn't check out, so if you think I made a mistake of like, oh no, you didn't watch that one, well, that could be possible because I didn't watch that many series last season, so that might be it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite series were and also keep in mind that I will be giving my final impressions of all of the series that I watched with Miana soon on Double Team so you can look forward to that. It will be more in detail and we can all discuss the series and tell each other which one we liked and we didn't. So yep that's it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye